Yaroslav Askarov was drafted 11th overall to the Nashville Predators in the 2020 NHL Entry Draft. This young goalie prospect is a very highly praised one, and people think he has a very, very good upside. Truthfully, I don't know and haven't seen much about him, but I looked up some highlights and he does look pretty good, so I'm... Sort of getting all aboard the hype train. That being said, let's hop into an NHL 21 simulation and let's see what EA thinks will happen in Yaroslav Askarov's NHL career. Okay, getting started in year one and Askarov would be playing for the AHL affiliate here with the Milwaukee Admirals. The team would miss out on the playoffs, finishing fifth in the Central. He would play 27 games, putting up 15 wins, a 934 and a 192 respectively. He did not win any trophies here in year one, which is not surprising with how many games he played. And Justin Pogge is the top retiring goaltender this year with one whole win. In year number two, Askarov is at 80 overall. He's listed as a backup goaltender with high elite potential, but he would spend the whole year in Milwaukee again. So I guess I'm checking at the end of the year here, and he got called up, but yeah. So I don't know where he started at at the beginning of the year. Normally I show that. I'm not sure why I didn't get that this time, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Milwaukee didn't do great again here. He also will not win any trophies this year in the AHL once more, and Craig Anderson is going to be the top retiring goaltender with 304 wins in his NHL career. Year 3 will be the first year that Askarov will start in the NHL for the Nashville Predators, and here's the offense, the defense, they got Yossi and Ellis as the top pair there, and he will be backing up Shesterkin, who's 88 overall. And Nashville finishes last in the Central Division here with 35 wins and 75 points this season. Askarov would only play 23 games, put up 6 wins, an 893 and a 344, so not great. Holtby will be the leading goaltender in the league this year with 44 wins and a 924 save percentage, so he went off. The Boston Bruins are Stanley Cup champions for year three here. Holtby, man, just cleaning house this year. It's not surprising, though, based off of his stats there. And yeah, McElhaney, the top retiring goaltender this year with 100 wins. In year number four, obviously Askarov is still going to be on the Predators. This is what the offense looks like. Defense looks like this. And Askarov, I guess they picked a new starter. 86 overall, going to be in that starting spot. The team gets 38 wins this season and 81 points. Not good enough to make the playoffs. Askarov plays 66 games, getting 28 wins, a 901 save percentage. And we got Rask as the top player this year with 41 wins. The San Jose Sharks our Stanley Cup champions for year number four, and the top retiring goaltender is Hank. 548 wins, the king of New York. So far, the Preds have not had much luck when it comes to making the playoffs, but let's see if they can turn things around here. Yossi and Ellis still the top defensive pair, and Askarov at 87 overall will be the starter. No, team still stinks. 33 wins and 72 points this season. Askarov with 23 wins in 55 games, a 913 and a 268. I also find that the goalie stats kind of fluctuate a lot in this simulation. But anyway, Holtby, 44 wins again, will lead the league, and the Buffalo Sabres will win the league. They are your Stanley Cup champions. It still sounds so weird. It just sounds like a soccer term. But anyway, Flurry, top retiring goaltender this year, 536 wins. The offense for the Nashville Predators looks like this in year six. They got Tuka Koivu, 87 overall in the second line there. I'm pretty sure he ended up having franchise potential or something. But Askarov, 89 overall, will still be the starting goaltender. Signs a new shiny seven-year, seven and a half million dollar deal. Team just misses out on the playoffs. Well, I guess wild card, 39 wins this season, 90 points. Askarov with 31 wins in 67 games and a 900 save percentage flat. Peter Mrazek will lead the league for goaltenders this year with 44 wins tied with Hellebuck there. And the Washington Capitals going to take home a Stanley Cup in year number six. Carey Price will be the top retiring goaltender with 432 wins. 
Let's get into year number seven here. The offense for the Predators looks like this. The defense, they got Dumba and Rensfeld as the top two there. And Askarov down to 87 overall now will still be the starting goaltender. The team finishes third in the entire league with 107 points and 50 wins this season. Askarov getting 37 wins in 63 games with a 908 save percentage and two shutouts. Hellebuck would lead the league this year with 45 wins and a 916. So he did very well, and so did the Jets, who are your Stanley Cup champions here. Connor Hellebuck also picking up a trophy there, so did Line A, so yeah, the Jets doing quite well here. The Nashville Predators would be eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Winnipeg Jets in round two there, taking five games, and Tuka Rask is your top retiring goaltender with 448 wins. The Nashville offense looks like this for year number eight. Bettered, Tolvanen, and LeBanc as the first line. We got Haskinen now at 89 overall, going to be playing with Rensfeld, Dumba, Fleury on the second pairing there. Askarov back up to 89 overall, will be backed up by 73 overall. Rizzi, team finishes third in the Central with 92 points and 42 wins this season. Askarov would play a nice amount of games, getting 33 dubs, a 914 save percentage, and five shutouts. Shesterkin is going to lead the league this year because of course he is with 42 wins only 16 losses for him and a 909 the Predators are eliminated by the Chicago Blackhawks in round number one taking six games Vegas going to win in the finals there at least it wasn't a sweep this time I see a lot of sweeps in these in the finals anyway but Holpe retiring with just shy of 500 wins Last season before entering the double digits, Tolvanen, Fabry, and LeBanc going to make up the first line for the Predators this year. We got Haskinen and Rensfeld still as the top pairing there. Dumba going to be on the second pair with Fleury and Askarov up to 90 overall. The team would finish fifth in the central with 85 points and Askarov would get 30 wins this year with a 900 save percentage flat, no shutouts, and a 322 Georgiev is going to lead the league this year with 39 wins. No goalie was able to crack 40 this time around. And the Vancouver Canucks win the Stanley Cup here in year number nine. The top retiring goaltender will be Freddie. Frederick Anderson going to put up 459 wins. Now entering the double digits, we've got Tolvanen, Barbashev, and Hosang making up the first line, which seems to be switching up quite a bit here. Haskinen and Rensfeld going to be the top defensive pair still, and we've got Askarov, 88 overall, will be backed up by Rizzi, who is 83 overall. The team will finish 5th in the Central with 90 points and 42 wins this season. Askarov would play 59 games, getting 27 wins, 26 losses though, but a 905 save percentage. Galiev is going to lead the league this year. With 42 wins, a 918 save percentage to accompany that. And the Golden Knights are going to win their second Stanley Cup here in not very long, actually. I'm pretty sure it was just year eight that they won the other one. But the Jets would sweep the Predators in round one. An absolute deletion. Top retiring goaltender this year is Peter Mrazek with 291 wins. And Grubauer is right behind him. Year number 11, we got Tolvanen, Bedard, and Hosang as the first line for the Nashville Predators. Haskinen and Rensfeld as the top pair. And Askarov, 89, will be backed up by 86. Rizzi, the team, finishes 8th in the entire league with 101 points and 45 wins. Askarov going to put up 35 wins with 3 shutouts and a 929 save percentage. So absolutely insane this year. Philippe Bure, uh, Bourret, anyway, he's going to lead the league 44 wins. The Golden Knights creating an absolute dynasty here. They have just won their third Stanley Cup in four years. So they are going insane right now. And speaking of the Golden Knights, they would eliminate the Predators in five games there in the conference finals. Connor Hellebuck is the top retiring goaltender this year with 458 wins. Okay, let's get into year number 12, where Tolvanen, Bedard, and Hosang is still going to make up the top line there, and Haskin and Redsfeld still going to be the top defensive pair, and Askarov still going to be the starting goaltender. 92 overall now. The team finishes fourth in the Central with 93 points and 44 wins this season. Askarov putting up 37 wins with seven shutouts and a 922. Very good. Philippe going to lead the league again, but there is a massive tie there. So I, yeah, just four-way tie for first place. Anyways, we got the Stanley Cup. 
headed to the Buffalo Sabres here. Perfetti winning some trophies, which is cool to see. The Predators were eliminated by the Jets there. Six games in round one. And Vazzy is the top retiring goaltender this year with 525 wins. Year number 13, we will see the same line once again. Tolvanen, Bedard, and Hosang going to remain there. We got Haskin in with a new defensive pair there in Bolduc, 76 overall. Askarov, 91, will be the starting goaltender and signs a hefty $14 million deal over seven years. The Nashville Predators will finish fifth in the Central with 80 points. Askarov going 26-31-4 with a 9-11 save percentage and one shutout. 305 goals against average and because why not? Rizzi going to lead the league with 46 wins this season. The mighty Ducks of Anaheim are going to be Stanley Cup champions this time around. No trophies for our boy, unfortunately. Thatcher Demko is the top retiring goaltender this year with 306 wins. Now time for year number 14. The line is still there. Tolvanen, Bedard, and Hosang going to remain for another one here. Haskinen is going to be playing with Axel Anderson, which, by the way, just sounds like a rock star. And Askarov, 90 overall, still the starting goaltender. The team finishes sixth in the Central with 80 points this season. A 29-28-6 and six record from Askarov with two shutouts and a 901 save percentage. Soderstrom is going to lead the league this year for goalies, putting up 42 wins. And the Boston Bruins are your Stanley Cup champions here. We got no trophies once again for Askarov, unfortunately. Samsonov is the top retiring goaltender this season, putting up 373 wins in his career. Year 15, we finally see a change to that first line, and we've got two new wingers, Foot and Tippett, will now be playing with Bedard. We got Gerard and Haskinen as the top defensive pair, and Askarov at 88 will still be the starting goaltender. The team finishes fifth in the entire league, putting up 106 points and 49 wins this season. Askarov would get 41 of those wins with two shutouts and a 913 save percentage. He would finish second in the league. McCammon with 42 wins, will lead the league. I love how he has the double G there too. Like if he doesn't feel like playing goalie, then he can play goalie. But anyway, St. Louis Blues are your Stanley Cup champions. Not a big deal, but a Vesna and a Jennings for Askarov this season. His team would, however, be eliminated in round one. The Arizona Coyotes would beat them in seven games. And John Gibson will be the top retiring goaltender this year with just shy of 500 wins. Some more changes coming to the Predators roster here for year 16. As you can see, Bedard has two new wingers again. And we got Hallwake and Salcedo as the top defensive pair. Askarov will still be the starting goaltender for the team that finishes third in the Central. 94 points and 43 wins. Askarov would put up 38 wins, having an 899 save percentage and playing 70 games this year. Calvert and McCammon would just one-up him. They got 39 wins this year, so Askarov is right there behind them. But the New York Islanders are going to be your Stanley Cup champions this year. Unfortunately, no hardware for Askarov, regardless of his great season. The team would be eliminated in six games by the St. Louis Blues in the conference semifinals. Mackenzie Blackwood, the top retiring goaltender this year with 480 wins. Once again, the first line's going to change up. We've got Ryland Foote with Bedard and Caulfield this time around. So that's a pretty interesting line to see there. We've got Chaika with Vahalati on the first defensive pair. And Askarov, 87, still going to be the starting goaltender. The team finishes 7th in the Central with 89 points and 39 wins. Not really a bad season overall, but I guess just a very competitive division. Askarov would put up 32 wins with a 908 save percentage. And Vitaluma. I absolutely butchered that. No apologies here. That is just out of my realm. 45 wins anyway. And the New York Islanders are Stanley Cup champions once more here. We've got Gustafson as the top retiring goaltender with 361 wins. Let's hop into year 18 where we've got Rylan Foote, Bedard, and Omark going to make up the first line. Chaika and Hulweg as the top defensive pair and Askarov still the starter at 86 overall now. The team finishes 8th in the Central with 83 points and 38 wins this season. Askarov would put up 32 wins and have a 913 save percentage with 3 shutouts so he did his job for sure. We got Jake Vertinen's evil brother, who happens to be a goaltender with 40 wins, but it is a three-way tie up there. The Boston Bruins are Stanley Cup champions here. 
Once again, unfortunately, no hardware going in the direction of Askarov. But what a career from Carter Hart. 624 wins and 390 losses. That is ridiculous. Well, we would have Foot and Bedard still in the first line, but another new winger there. They got Mayer, Chaika, and Magnuson as the top defensive pair, and Askarov still as the starting goaltender. The team does absolutely abysmal this year. 26 wins, 64 points, finishing last in the division, potentially last in the league, honestly. 16 wins from Askarov with an 882 and a 411. Absolutely brutal. A two way tie for top goaltender this year, both putting up 45 wins. And we've got a Stanley Cup going to the New York Islanders. Seems to be kind of the same teams winning it over and over again here. But anyway, Cam Beats is the top retiring goaltender with 312 wins. For year number 20, he would sign with the Islanders. We got Benoit Calder and Boyer as the first line there. Pars and Wilson, the top defensive pair. And Askarov will probably be splitting it with Daze there. Two years remaining, $2 million deal. So that's his contract with the Islanders here. He finishes third in the entire league, 110 points and 53 wins this season. Askarov, like I said, about 50-50 here. He got 22 wins, an 899 and a 330. Riss Miller is going to lead the league this year with 40 wins. I really don't understand how goalies can have two positions and the other one is goalie. But anyway, the Florida Panthers, that's a little bit of a change up here. Finally, are your Stanley Cup champions for year number 20, the New York Islanders were eliminated by the New York Rangers, taking seven games in round number two, or the conference semifinals, whatever you prefer. Morozov is the top retiring goaltender this year with 338 wins. Unfortunately, Askarov would spend the season here in the AHL with the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. He's still 80 overall, but the team just has two other goalies that they want to have up there right now. The team finishes sixth in the AHL with 102 points, 47 wins. Askarov would put up 37 wins with a 924, 235, and six shutouts. He still got it. Cox and Sampson going to tie with 40 wins this year. And we've also got Askarov winning himself the Baz Trophy. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of trophies in the HL, and I don't know a single one of them. But anyway, the top retiring goaltender for this year would be Bo Meester, who put up 290 wins. Year 22, this guy really just does not want to give up. It is crazy. But he's back in the NHL, believe it or not. 78 overall will be the backup to Kervin in there. Signs a one-year, 875k contract. And the team finishes fifth in the entire league. 104 points and 48 wins. Askarov would have a record of 16, 11, and 0 with a shutout in 882 and a 356, respectively. Trip will lead the league this year with 45 wins and the Winnipeg Jets. I'm not sure how many that is for them now, but I'm pretty sure they've won a few Stanley Cups in this simulation. The New York Islanders were eliminated in the conference finals, taking seven games against the Nashville Predators, and Askarov would finally call it quits. 539 wins in his career, and he also had 459 losses, 83 overtime losses, a total of 48 shutouts, an overall save percentage of 906, and an overall goals against average of 303. Here are his playoff stats. He only played 75 playoff games, put up 34 wins in those games, a 901 save percentage, and a 323 goals against average. Let's look at some high-level stats here. He signed 20 years worth of contracts at $25.585 million. Lots of fives in there. Trophies, he won a Vesna and a Jennings, won those two in the same season. And he also won that Bastion Memorial in the AHL not too long ago. The teams, he only played for two. Nashville Predators, where he spent the majority of his career, and the New York Islanders, where he finished off. Looking at retirement, at number four, we got Hank Lundqvist, who had 548 wins and a 916 save percentage. At number six, we got Flower himself, Marc-Andre Fleury. He had 536 wins and a 911 save percentage. And then at number five, we got our boy Yaroslav Askarov, which by the way, I've seen it spelled with an I, I believe, and a Y. So I'm not sure which one is correct, but I just went with whatever was on Hockey DB. Anyway, he put up 539 wins and had a 906 save percentage. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Honestly, I really hope the commentary turned out okay because I've never struggled so much. I don't know why, but I had to restart parts 
so much and I just cannot comprehend why my brain would not allow me to say what it was thinking. So I'm probably gonna host another poll to see what you guys want for the next career simulation. These typically come out every Sunday, I try my best. And yeah, <laughs> please, I hope the next person doesn't go to 22 years. But yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. Drop a like if you could, that'd be great. Also sub, that'd be even greater. And I'll see you in the next one.